Hello, I'm Courtney, what's up? And today I'm gonna be doing a book haul. So the last book haul I uploaded was like about a month ago and here I am about a month later with more books. Yeah, um, I have a book buying problem. I only have six books to show, but the thing is, I got all these books in the month of October. So like, that's a lot for just a month. Like, I usually buy like two to three books in a month, but I got six in October. What? <laughs> what? So this book haul is technically kind of like my October book haul. I don't do monthly book hauls, but since all these books were bought in the month of October, this is kind of like the mini October book haul. But let's just get started with the book haul. So the first book I have to show today is Stealing Snow by Daniela Page. This book was released on, I believe, September 30th, and I also believe that this is just a standalone. I'm not very sure if this is a series or not, but this is the very first Daniela Page book I've ever bought. I haven't read her other series, so I'm really excited to read this, and if I like this, then most likely I'll read her other series, the Dorothy Must Die series, but this book got a lot of hype. I'm super excited to read this book because it is indeed a retelling of the Snow Queen and I really don't know much about this book either, which I don't want to go into this book not knowing much. The only thing I know is that it's about a girl named Snow and she's like in this asylum because it's like she kissed this guy Bale and it was like a true love thing I think, but like Bale might have gone crazy. I don't know. I don't know much about this book, but that doesn't matter because I'm super excited to read it. I'm really hoping that I get to this sometime soon, especially sometime in December since this feels like a wintry book since it is indeed called Stealing Snow. So hopefully in the next two months I get to this. I'm really excited to read this. I'm really excited to finally read a Daniela Page book since people have said so many great things about her book. So I'm really excited to read this book. The next book I have is Crooked Kingdom by Leah Bardugo. This is the second and final book in the Six of Crows duology and this book was released on September 27th. I finished this book about like two weeks ago I want to say and oh my gosh this book nearly killed me like oh it did kill me like I couldn't even at the end I was just freaking out I thought I was about to start crying because what happened was just too much for me and I was like what the heck? If you want to know more of my thoughts and feels on this book, I'll definitely link my book talk in the description box down below because I don't really want to go into spoilers since this is a finale book. But let me just say, I love this book. It was super well written. Like, Leah Bardugo does not write bad books. But, oh my gosh, let me just say, like, the end, I just, oh, it killed me. It killed me so bad. But overall, this was a fantastic finale book. The next two books I have are Magnus Chase and the Hammer of Thor. This is the second book in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy. The first book being Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer, and these books were released on October 4th. These were sent to me by Salee Bowsley, who is the head of Disney Hyperion, and thank you so much again for sending me these books. I did an unboxing for them, and it was so much fun. But boy, oh boy, let me tell you, this book was so good. It was so awesome and action-packed. And you know, usually with sequels, they're either really, really good or they're really, really bad. But this was a really, really good sequel. Oh my gosh, I had such a fun time reading this. I loved me back with the Magnus Chase Squad, and I'm so excited for the next book. If you want to know more about my thoughts and feels on this book, I'll link my book talk down below where I go into a deeper discussion about this book. But overall, I love this book. It was great. It was super hilarious. And I'm so excited for book three. The next book I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Sahaba Tahir. This is the first book in the An Amber in the Ashes series. I don't know if this has like a different series name, but that's what I'm gonna call it. And this is what I'm currently reading right now. I'm at the halfway point right here. So I'm like, I'm like 250 pages in. I'm on page 248 and I'm overall really liking this so far. It was a little slow in the beginning, but I'm liking it where I'm at right now and it's been super action packed and I'm really enjoying the story. 
I remember last year before this book got released, this book was getting so much hype and then it came out and it was getting such great reviews and I just, I never picked it up for some reason. I don't know why, but here I am now. I'm reading it and I'm really liking it. I'm not loving it. I'm not at the loving point, but like, I feel like I'm getting there, but I'm, I'm liking it though. It's definitely getting better the more I read it, but hopefully I love it because I want to because it's such a captivating story, but like... Man, Leia, she needed to get her act together. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like, I like Leia, but like, man, she can be stupid sometimes. But I'm reading a Leia chapter right now, and what she's doing is pretty brave of her, where I was just like, whoa, she's actually doing something awesome and cool. Whoa, whoa but Ilias is my favorite. He's wonderful. I love reading Ilias chapters just because of the situation he's in. It's just so much more exciting to read. It's also super suspenseful, but I'm liking Leia. I'm liking Ilias. I'm liking this book. I'm really excited to see where it's gonna go. And the final book I have today is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Illuminae trilogy I believe I believe this is going to be a trilogy and this book was released on October 18th I read Illuminae back in August and so when I finished it I was like oh my gosh I need Gemini right now so I was like really excited for it but I didn't think I was gonna buy my own copy of it like I was gonna read it but not have my own copy like I was fine if I like checked it out at a library but a few days ago I was at Walmart and I was walking with my mom to the checkout and I was passing the book section I was like okay Courtney like don't go to the book section like you already have enough books to read like just go check your things out but then I saw this bright blue in the corner of my eye and I was like that can't be the Gemini blue but it was my Walmart had two copies of this book and I was like what shock of the century walmart actually has good books and then i found two copies of empire storms there and i was like look at walmart stepping up its a game like i was so happy and so i like i had to buy this because i was like i'm never gonna see this book again and like there was only two copies left too i was like i have to claim one of these so i convinced my mom to buy it for me so Thanks, Mom! I think I'm gonna read this next after I finish In Amber and the Ashes. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I wanna read this next, but I've read so many big books lately where I'm just like, I just really wanna read a short, cute contemporary. But that, my friends, were all the books. And you know, it's tradition for me to stack all the books and all my book hauls. So let's get stacking. Here we are, my friends. The stack, the beautiful stack. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is actually gorgeous. Man, if only an Amber in the Ashes was a hardcover, this could have been a complete hardcover book haul. Come on, Amber. It's okay. I forgive it. But look at it. It's so pretty. Look at both of the Hammer of Thors. Th that's beautiful. But, okay, wait. Can I do this with one hand? Wait. Oh, these are so heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm so scared I'm going to drop them. Okay. We're gonna stop that. I accomplished it. Go me! So that, my friends, was the book haul, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I am Courtney, and I'll see y'all next time with a new video up soon, so I will see you then, so bye! Yo!